Hi everyone, how are you today? This is lesson 36 and page 88. A uh, page 8 page here. Uh, listening and speaking part and the title is the forgetful generation. Forgetful? Well, if you describe a person forgetful, that means that person forgets a lot. 건망증이죠, 건망증. So forgetful uh, is adjective. 그 noun으로는 forgetfulness라고 하면 돼요. 그러니까 건망증, uh, in Korean it seems quite difficult, 건망증. 좀 어려운 단어 같잖아요. But in English it's quite easy. You just say forgetfulness. So uh, do you have uh, forgetfulness? Are you forgetful? Well, here uh, we will listen to some people like talking about their problem today. And we will find out what their problems are and actually what they forgot and what they did instead. 그러니까 뭘 해야 되는데 그걸 안 하고 까먹어서 뭐 이상한 거 하고 막 그러거든요. 그래서 그런 거 한번 들어보면서 그러니까 forgetful 한거 아, 이거 한번 들어보면서 아, 수업을 하도록 하겠어요. 아, 그러면 page 88 uh, here uh, listening and speaking part in number 3 uh, listen to the stories of Leon and Jerry Keiko, well, I guess Keiko is Japanese girl, and take notes about them in the chart here. So first, uh, we should listen to Leanne and uh, figure out what she did and uh, what she forgot. Okay, so let's listen to Leanne first. Leanne. Last year, I graduated from college and I got a job in the same town. One day, for some reason, Instead of going to work, which starts at 9 o'clock, I took the bus and went to the university for an 11 o'clock lecture. I was sitting there in the lecture room, and I thought to myself, why don't I know anybody? Then, suddenly I remembered that I'd graduated already and that I was two hours late for work. Okay, so did you figure out what her problem was? Well, here uh, I wrote down this already. Well, what did they forget? In this case, Leanne, what did she forget? And what did she do in this case, okay? Well, here actually uh, Leanne said she already graduated from her college, but still uh, she kind of forgot that she already graduated. Well, sometimes it happens. Well, have you ever uh, experienced this kind of thing? 졸업했는데 아직 학생인 줄 알고 뭐 그런 적 있으신가요? 만약에 이제 대학을 졸업하셨으면 well, uh, 저 같은 케이스에는 이 정도는 아니었던 것 같은데요. 이 정도는 아니고 well, I am very forgetful too, but not this much though. Uh, I should be uh, happy about it then. Okay, anyway, so she said uh, she got a job after she graduated from her university. She got a job in the same town. And the work starts at, what time was it? It was at 9 o'clock. But she went to university for 11 o'clock lecture. And then she was there in the classroom, but still she didn't realize she made some big mistake. She's still just sitting there and how come I don't know anybody here? Well, they are all strangers. It's a bit weird. And then she realized, aha, I already graduated. 이미 졸업했잖아? 이러면서 다른 후배들과 앉아 있었던 거죠. Now it's a bit funny. So, uh, here then, what should we put in this blank? She forgot that. That is 사실 까먹었다 이런 거죠. Uh, she was going to work. Well, actually, she was supposed to go to work, not university, but she forgot that. So, she forgot that she was going to work, not university. Like this. Well, and then what she did instead was like this. Uh, she took the bus. 버스를 타고 갔는데 학교로 간 거죠? 그러면 she took the bus to university instead of work. Work 하면 일터도 그냥 work이라고 쓰죠. 뭐 일하는 것 자체도 work. 그 다음에 일, 그것도 자체도 work. 뭐 일터라고 해서, of course you can say workplace. Uh, my workplace is near here. 
어, 나 일터가 요 근처야 이럴 때 workplace라고 말할 수도 있는데 그냥 you can just simply say work as well. So, oh, my work is near here. I'm going to work. I'm at work. 나 일을 하는 중이야. I'm at work. 이렇게요. So, she was already like two hours late for her work while she was sitting in classroom. Okay, uh, this time, uh, let's move on to Jerry's case. Okay, let's listen to him. Jerry. I live and work in Chicago. Last Christmas, I packed my suitcase, as I do every year, and went to the airport to catch a flight to my parents' home for the holidays. While I was standing in line waiting to check in, one of the people from the airline came by to check my ticket. He looked at it and said, Thank you, sir. Your flight to Kansas City leaves in about an hour. And suddenly I thought, Kansas City? But I don't want to go to Kansas City. My parents live in Arizona. You see, when I was a child, I lived with my parents in Kansas City, but they moved to Arizona seven years ago. I couldn't believe it. I bought an airline ticket to the wrong city. How could I have been so stupid? Okay, another forgetful person, Jerry. So, what was his problem? What did you find out? Well, here, in Jerry's case, well, actually, uh, he said he's living in Chicago, right? And she, uh, he works in Chicago, and last Christmas, like, uh, like he did all the time, he packed his suitcase to go to his parents' place for holidays. But uh, the problem was, well, he kind of forgot where his parents lived, right? So here he forgot, well, what uh, he forgot was uh, where his parents lived now, right? Well, actually, well, he even bought a ticket for a flight to Kansas City. Well, actually, Kansas City was where he grew up with his parents together. So he, they all together lived in Kansas City when he was a child. But uh, his parents moved to Arizona. Now they are living there. But somehow he forgot, he got confused, because I guess his childhood memories were so strong. So he thought, uh, I think I should go to Kansas. But uh, it was Arizona where his parents lived. So here, what did they do? Well, in this case, it's Jerry. So what Jerry did was he almost flew. Well, because uh, here uh, he already bought a ticket and he was actually waiting for his turn to get in in a line. 줄을 이미 서서 기다리고 있었잖아요. 그래서 but flight attendant says, oh, welcome, like, the flight is for Kansas City. And then he realized, oh, no, this is not right way. 그때 가서야 깨달은 거죠. 거의 탈 뻔했었던 거잖아요, 자칫. 그러니까 almost가 들어간 거죠. 그러니까 한국말로 뭐뭐 할 뻔했어. 할 뻔했다. 이거 영어로는 almost만 넣어주면 되죠. 어, 나 넘어질 뻔했어. I almost fell down. 나 거의 넘어졌었어. 즉, 넘어졌을 뻔했다. But uh, you didn't fall down. Well, here, if you say he almost flew, that means uh, 가까웠죠. 갈 뻔했지만, but he didn't. But he didn't. Okay, anyway, so he almost flew to the city. Where? 어, 어디로 가려고 했었죠? It was Kansas City, right? So Kansas City was where he lived as a child. Where he? 어렸을 때, as a child, 아기였을 때 살았던 곳 이렇게 되는 거죠. He lived as. Okay, not where. 원래 갔었어야 했던 데는 Arizona. Where their where his parents live now, right? So here uh, in this blank, where his parents live now, where his <목소리> 지금 살고 계신 곳이 아니라 옛날에 하도 어렸을 때그 childhood memory가 강해서 그걸로 가려고 했었던 거죠. Okay, uh, so. Um, I guess it was kind of a close shave. Well, close shave, I mean, 
do shave라는 것이 이렇게, 이렇게 면도하는 거죠. 면도하는 거. 근데 close shave. 여기다 쓸게요. Close shave. Well, I'm not a man, so I don't know really. But uh, when you shave, 이렇게 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 해가지고 하지 않나요? 잘 모르. 아, 근데 이렇게 하다 보면은 막 you cut yourself sometimes, right? You cut yourself sometimes. So it was really close. Then you almost cut yourself. Like, oh, 빌 뻔했다. 막 이런 거 있잖아요. 그럴 때, 오, 큰일 날 뻔했다. 이 정도죠. 그래서 뭔가 이런 것이 일어나려고 했을 때, 허, 큰일 날 뻔했다. 큰일 날 뻔했다를 영어로 어떻게 하겠어요? 큰일, big thing happen? 이거 아니죠? 아, 큰일 날 뻔했다. 그리고 it was a close shave. 아, 짧게 깎을 뻔했어. 컷할 뻔했어. 이런 거죠. So, I guess in this case, you can say, ah, it was a close shave. Anyway, well, now uh, we just checked Jerry's case, and then let's move on to Keiko's case. Okay, let's listen to her. Keiko. A few months ago, I got up to go to work. I got dressed and put on my nice blue suit because I had an important meeting. I'd been working at home the night before and preparing for a very important meeting the next day, and I remembered to put all the right papers into my briefcase. I got in my car and drove to work. When I arrived, I looked down. I was shocked. I was still wearing my fluffy pink bedroom slippers. Okay, how was Keiko's case? I think personally Keiko's case is the worst case, like the most embarrassing one. 가장 창피한 경우인 것 같아요. 제가 봤을 때는. 그렇지 않나요? 일단, uh, what Keiko said was, uh, she said like a few months ago, she was working on this work, well, at home. 그런데, uh, she, uh, it was, there was a very important meeting the next day. So she prepared for some kind of her presentation and all the papers and she got even like her best suit, like blue suit. But the problem was, well, the next day, well, she woke up and prepared everything and then she drove to work and then looked down and she was really shocked because she was wearing still like the bedroom slippers, like she wasn't wearing shoes. 신발을 안 신고, 양말 신고 간 거는 다름없죠. 그러니까 우리나라에서는 아, 실내에서 별로 슬리퍼를 그렇게 아, 많이 안 신는데 외국에는 슬리퍼를 되게 많이 신거든요. 그러니까 는 그냥 슬리퍼 바람으로 집 안에 있던 그그그 그, 그 맨발 그, 그대로 그냥 간 거라고 생각을 해주시면 되겠어요. 우리나라로 치자면 이제 일단 여기서 she said uh, I got dressed really well, <웃음> and then what she said was I had been working at home. I had been working. 과거 완료 진행을 썼어요. 여기서 얘기할 때. 그때 당시 말이죠. 그날 밤 내가 계속 일을 해오고 있는 중이었었어요. 그래가지고 뭐 열심히 뭐 이렇게 했었어요. 하면서 옛날에 있었던 얘기를 할 때, 아, 과거 완료 진행을 썼었어요. I'd been, I'd been. 근데 I had, 이걸 이렇게 얘기 안 하고, I'd been. So, I'd been working, I'd been working. 이렇게 나왔었죠? Uh, okay, so here. She forgot to, uh, was she forgot? Was like, uh, she forgot to put her shoes on. When she left home, she forgot to put on her shoes and then she just left, right? And what she did instead, was like she was like she left home wearing what? Yes, slippers, bedroom slippers. Wearing her slippers. 이렇게 되는 거죠. Well, uh, when she described her own slippers, she said fluffy pink bedroom slippers. Like when you say fluffy, uh, that means it's very very soft. And especially, uh, it has uh, lots of air in it, so it's very light. Like towel. Well, towel is kind of fluffy and soft, and it has lots of air in it. Or cake. You know, when you eat some cake, well, if the cake has lots of air in it and very soft and cushy, then you say, oh, this cake is really fluffy. Like this. Oh, fluffy하다. 
한국말로는 뭐 뽀송뽀송하다? 뭐이 정도 될까요? 네, 뽀송뽀송한 그런 거를 이제 신고 어, 회사에 갔다. 이런 얘기죠. Well, so this case, like Keiko's case reminded me of some movie, like Korean movie. Like a few years ago, maybe several years ago, I don't remember exactly. Well, s e o l g y u n g g u and j o n d o y o n g were in that movie. Like, I wish I had wife. Uh, in Korean, 나도 아내가 있었으면 좋겠다. Well, have you seen the movie? Well, in that movie, s e o l g y u n g g u I forgot his uh, stage name. I mean, the name in that movie. I just remember his, his real name. And s e o l g y u n g g u 그 아저씨가 Well, he was really, really in a hurry in the morning when he went to work. So uh, we could just see him, like, like upper part only. And then he left home. And then maybe after like two seconds, he came back. And then he kept saying like, like this. And then he came back. And then the camera zoomed out. And then we could see he was wearing pajama here. So he only just got like, Shirt and jacket, everything like even necktie, but pajamas. And then she, he went out. So it was really, really funny. And this Keiko's case uh, reminded me of that movie. 생각이 났었어요. 그 정도로 forgetful. 이게 아내가 없어서 그랬나? Okay, so uh, we just checked uh, page 88, uh, number three. Uh, Leanne, Jerry, and Keiko. These three people had some. forgetfulness, right? Now, let's move on to the next page, page 89, number 4. Well, here, uh, number 4, well, the question is, like, listen to the rest of the radio program and answer the questions. So, we will listen to some radio shows, and this is actually a kind of interview. So, this interviewer or presenter interviews this uh, doctor. psychology doctor인데 그 둘이 이제 얘기를 막 하거든요. 일단 그 어떤 내용인지 이제 들어보고 나서 well there are eight questions here. So after we listen to the conversation, the interview and then check these questions together, okay? So, uh, let's listen to the conversation. Stories of forgetfulness like these are familiar to many of us. And experts say that such cases as Leanne's, Jerry's, and Keiko's show that loss of memory is not just related to age, but can be caused by our way of life. Alan Buchan is a professor of psychology, and he explains why. One of the problems these days is that many companies have far fewer employees. This means that one person often does several jobs. Jobs that before were done by many people are now done by a few. If you have five things to do at once, you become stressed and forgetful. I think many people in work situations, at a meeting or something, have the experience where they start a sentence and halfway through it, they can't remember what they're talking about and they can't finish the sentence. That's happened to me. It's a terrible feeling. You think you're going insane. I remember one lady who came to me so distressed because at three important meetings in one week, she found herself saying mid-sentence, I'm sorry, I can't remember what I'm talking about. This was a lady in a new job, which involved a lot of traveling. She also had a home and family to take care of, and she'd recently moved. She had so many things to think about that her brain couldn't cope. It shut down. I can see the problem. But what's the solution? How did you help that lady? Well, part of the solution is recognizing the problem. Once we'd talked to this lady about her stressful lifestyle, she realized that she wasn't going crazy, and she felt more relaxed and was able to help herself. But do you know one of the best ways to remember things, even in these days of personal computers and handheld computers? What's that? It's a notebook or just a piece of paper. At the beginning of every day, write yourself a list of things you have to do. And it gives you a really good feeling when you cross things off the list as you do them. Well, there you have it. Thank you very much, Professor... Uh... Uh... Oh! <laughs> Professor Alan Buchan. Okay, so how was the interview? Was it interesting? Well, he explained, like the doctor explained, 
some kind of aspects about uh, forgetfulness. Uh, anyway, so let's check these questions together from number one to number eight. Well, number one, the question number one is, what is Professor Ellen Bunch's job? <laughs> professor. Well, he is a professor. Well, the question itself says, like, professor. So his job is professor, right? But what field? In what field? Well, here, uh, in the middle of this interview, actually, at the beginning, well, in this interview, like, presenter says, like, oh, you know, People are kind of suffering. People are all going through this forgetfulness these days. So here uh, we will talk about things and uh, the doctor will explain why this kind of thing happens. And then he presented this doctor and says uh, he is a professor of psychology. So did you get that part? 초반에 그 프레젠터가 그 인터뷰하는 사람이 아뭐 요즘 이런 일들이 많은데요 이제 이런 의사분을 모시고 얘기 한번 해보겠습니다 이렇게 얘기를 하자 그래서 psychology field의 닥터였다 이렇게 얘기를 했어요 그러면 the question number one the answer to question number one is well we can say uh, he is a professor of psychology well, it's quite simple question okay and number two the number two question, like, what is it about some modern day working practices that causes forgetfulness? Uh, here, uh, practice, it doesn't mean 뭐 연습 이런 뜻 아니죠? 그냥 어떤 관행, 어떤 뭐 routine이라고 하는데, the things you do every day. 뭐 항상 해오는 거, 이런 걸 practice라고 하는 거죠, 여기서. 그러면, uh, what's the thing about modern society's practices? Well, well, it's quite close, closely related to forgetfulness, according to this doctor. Well, here, well, the doctor says, like, uh, many companies these days have a lot fewer employees. So that means, well, people have more jobs to do. Well, before there were like 10 people doing the same job, but now it's like three people doing the same job. That means, Yes, these people have a lot more work than before. So that's why, according to this doctor. So, uh, because these people have so many things to do and uh, remember, 해야 할 것들이 너무 많으니까, to-do list에 너무 쫙 이렇게 많으니까, uh, it's only natural that you forget a lot. That's what he said. So, question two. Uh, the answer to question two can be like this. Uh, because... Companies have a lot fewer, fewer employees than before, so uh, that causes people to have more things to do, and that's why uh, you are so forgetful. 이렇게 되는 거죠. 그러니까 하는 일이 전보다 많아져서 회사에 사람들이 적어지고 그것 때문에 사람들이 할 일이 많아져서 더잘 까먹는 거다. 병이 아니라 사회적 현상이다. 이렇게 얘기를 하고 있는 거죠. Okay, and number three. Uh, why did the lady think that she was going insane? Insane means crazy. 미쳐가는 거, 정신, out of your mind. 말하는 거죠. So, uh, according to the doctor, there was some one patient, lady patient, and she came over and said, I think I am going crazy. I think I am going insane because I forget things too much. 너무 잘 잊어먹어요. I guess I am going crazy. 나 미쳐갔나 봐요. 이러고 있었다는 거죠. Okay, then, number three, uh, well, the th clue for this uh, question is, like, in the middle of this interview, well, the doctor explains, like, oh, there was this patient, and she said, well, actually, her problem was, well, in the middle of her sentence, like, she forgets what she wanted to talk about. So, blah, blah, oh, I forgot what I wanted to say. Like, she started the sentence, but maybe halfway through, she forgot. 문장을 끝내기도 전에, even before she finishes just one sentence, only halfway through, she forgot. Like, huh? What did I want to say? Like this. Well, you know what? But sometimes, not even halfway through, well, you want to say something, then... And then, even before you start your own sentence, sometimes you forget. Well, it happens a lot to me. 말하기도 전에 까먹었다. Like this. So when I talk with my friends, like, 
I forgot. Then, okay, let's just relax. Then it will come back to you again. And then usually uh, things come back or not. Then just move along. But this woman was really stressed out because of this symptom. Well, she thought it was a really serious thing. So here, uh, the doctor says she found herself saying mid-sentence, like halfway through her sentence, she said, I'm sorry, I can't remember what I wanted to say, what I was going to say, like this. So that was her problem. So number three, the answer to number three, the question is, well, she began sentences, but then couldn't remember what she wanted to say, right, what she was talking about. 말하려고 했는데 기억이 안 났다. 그래서 she thought she was going insane. 이렇게 된 거죠. Okay, next question number four. Number four, the question says like, what was the lady's problem? Well, actually, this is the same as uh, number three, I guess. But anyway, so what caused her this kind of forgetfulness? Well, according to the doctor, well, because she had so many things to do, like she had new job, and uh, she had new job, and this job uh, requires a lot of traveling. So it was very demanding job. She had to travel all around, and plus she had home and family to take care of. So and plus at the end she had recently moved. So, so many different things are happening in her own life. So, that's why she got stressed. And that's why she became forgetful. That's what the doctor said. 그러면, uh, number four. The answer to number four is, like, she had a new job, she traveled a lot, she had a home and family to take care of or think about, and she had recently moved. It's a bit long, right? So that can be the answer to question four. Okay, next one, number five. Uh, what helped the lady feel more relaxed? Well, here, uh, when she just came to his office, like a consult, well, she was like, like very anxious because she thought she had a big problem. She was going insane. That's what she thought. So she was like really stressed and worried. But after the doctor explained, um, no, 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 it's not that you are going insane. It's just because this and this. Like he explained. And then she felt, oh, okay, now I'm relieved. Okay, I am not going crazy. It's just because I am so busy. I have so busy and hectic lifestyle. That's what she said. So here, uh, what helped the lady feel better? Well, uh, question five. We well, hear uh, the doctor said, like, okay, the first step or kind of part of, like, uh, the solution to this problem, like your forgetfulness and your anxiety, is that you should recognize your problems. And he made this woman recognize what her problems were. 그냥 그 problem은, it was not you were going crazy. 그거 너 미쳐가는 게 아니고 그냥 이런 lifestyle 때문이다. It's because of your stressful and crazy lifestyle. Crazy, 여기서 뭐 미친 이런 거 아니죠? 여기서는 crazy lifestyle, that means it's very busy, hectic. Hectic 하면은 very busy plus crazy. 그러니까 막 정신 사나우면서 막 돌아가는 것을 hectic이라고 해요. Hectic. You use this word quite a lot. So, uh, she felt more relaxed. 그 사실을 알게 된후더 relax하게 되었다. Then, uh, answer to number five is like, professor helped her recognize her problem. And it was not because she was going insane, but it was just because she had hectic lifestyle. Okay, okay let's move on. Uh, number six, does Professor Butchen advise using a personal computer to help remember things? Well, in this high technology society, the era of high technology, maybe uh, you might guess that maybe he suggested that you use personal computer, PDA, or 
whatever uh, very sophisticated devices. But actually, you know, he said it's a notebook. It's not laptop. 한국말로 노트북 하면은 노트북 컴퓨터를 생각하지만 사실 if you say notebook, then it is notepad, right? 그래서 uh, the doctor suggested using a notebook, not personal computer or anything, not sophisticated devices. So uh, the answer to number six is just very simple. No, he doesn't. No. Uh, 그는 personal computer 이런 거 사용하라고 suggest하지 않았습니다. Number seven, what does he advise then? Well, not personal computer, then what? Notebook, like I said. Why does he advise this? Well, according to him, like at the end of this interview, he said, like, use a notebook and every day in the morning, write down uh, the must or to-do list. 이렇게 쓰죠. 해야 할 것들 하면 그냥 to do 이렇게 해서 이렇게 붙여서 해야 할 것들 s까지도 붙일 수 있죠. to do's. 자 그러면 이 해야 할 것들 리스트를 작성해라 이런 얘기죠. 자 그래서 맨 처음에 write yourself a list of to do's. Well, your to do list and then cross it out like as you finish one by one. 하나 하나씩 끝날 때마다 cross it out of the list. So, if you cross it out one by one, then it gives you really, really good feeling that, ah, you have achieved this much. Like, 오늘 이거 했다. Achievement. 예, 그런 느낌이 온다. 그래서, uh, it gives you good feelings. Uh, so, question seven. Well, what does he advise? Use notebook because if you cross out the list one by one, then it gives you good feelings. That's why. Okay, next one, number eight. How does the presenter try to be funny at the end of the interview? The presenter, the interviewer, try to be a little bit funny at the end. Well, what did he do? He kind of pretended. It was not really, uh, he forgot his name, but he kind of pretended, okay, thank you so much for your explanation and your expertise. Well, expertise means opinions from experts. Uh, expert의 견해라고 하는 거죠. Expert, 그러니까 전문가의 견해. 전문가의 견해 정말 감사합니다. Uh, professor, like he pretended that he just forgot the professor's name. So he, he was just trying to be a silly and funny. Okay, so uh, number eight, uh, the answer can be like he pretends that he has forgotten the professor's name. Okay, Okay. so uh, we checked uh, page 88 and 89 uh, about forgetfulness and we uh, listened to like three people talking about their problems and this time like interview like a uh, professor of psychology. So we kind of uh, listened to some interesting facts as well. Before I thought you know, forgetfulness was related to aging, 노화와 관련이 있는 줄 알았거든요. 그런데 아, 프로페서가 말하기를 노화라기보다는 it's because of your lifestyle이라고 하니까 I feel a little bit relieved too. Okay, then uh, I will uh, wrap it up now and everyone have a good day. See you next time. Okay, bye bye.